Todd Russell and Brant Webb strode from the top of the mine shaft. And in the sky, a rain of falling cinders, from time to time the waste. It's the best. I was watching Rage this morning after a big bender. We were watching it this morning before we came here. While we were getting dressed, we were watching Rage. No, you watch Rage when you get home and it's like calm down after the night out. You have to sit in the lounge until the brain stops spinning around. Rage plays Australian music and it supports Australians. High fives. It's like it's not, it's not so mainstream. Oh, it's already been around for me. We're, we're only 20. Happy birthday, dear Rage. Happy birthday to you. Hip, 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 hip. Woo! Anyway, it's the only station that plays non-commercial music with no commercials. It's the best. And you turn on the telly and all you want to see is a commercial that runs for about an hour, another commercial that runs for an hour selling nice vacuum cleaners or cleaning products, and then you get to rage and you're like, see yeah. Rage! <laughs> Happy 20th birthday. You're officially two years too old for us to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Rage, you have a birthday coming up very soon and I brought this handkerchief because the amount of hearts on this handkerchief don't even express the amount of love that I have for the fact that you've been around for 20 years and you're going to be around for 20 more and then 20 more on top of that. So, happy birthday, Rage, from the Eagles of Death Metal and from Boots Electric. Hi, where we are scientists. What were Wait, you going to say? Looking at me. What were you going to yeah, say? Yeah, I concur. Okay. You're watching Rage. But what you're feeling is something far less pure and far more insidious. Don't just sit there on the couch all winter eating popcorn and drinking beer. It's time for you to get out there and lose that extra 10 kilos and we have the perfect thing for you, the Abdominator. Check it out. Oh, 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 oh. This method is a surefire tried and tuned way for only $19.95 a week. Put on layaway over the next six months, you too can have the Abdominator machine. It will take care of all your tummy needs. Look at these abs. Look at those cuts. Look at that. Even comes with a new hairstyle. Check it out. The Abdominator. Rage! Hi, I'm Timo Maas. And Rage, it's your 20th birthday. Happy birthday from a uh, faraway German guy. Peace. But I'm bound to spark it, I get it, I'm not in your local market I'm an underground hero, I'm above the clouds, I'm in and out like <laughs> Happy birthday, Rage! It's an institution, you know, like, you grow up watching it And certainly when you start a band, you're playing in a band and everything It's one of those things like, wow, to program Rage It's like the things like appearing at the big day out or something like that It's one of those, as a band, it's one of those things that you go, wow As soon as you wake up, just press the button slowly be absorbed into the world of rage. Seeing Ben Shepherd in the background when uh, Chris Cornell was being uh, in, like doing his thing for Soundgarden, Ben Shepherd was various, in various states of undress and under lampshades and stuff like that. Yeah, that was killer! I remember first hearing uh, Tex Perkins program it and he uh, put the Carpenters on doing Superstar and I was just like, what is this? And he was going, listen to it, you know, it's not tacky, it's beautiful. It's like, and then I, it, it blossomed into this whole love for the Carpenters. But Rage, like, I think it's good, it passes on the history. First time we programmed Rage was the morning after the Arias, about 
9 or 10 o'clock in the morning. And that was kind of cool. You don't know what to expect, especially on Saturday night when someone's programming. That's, that's the best thing about it. The fact that you can turn the TV on at 3 o'clock in the morning and find like the weirdest thing that you would never hear anywhere else on any other TV show is really cool, I think. I remember watching it with yeah, yeah. Libby and Your Mind and a few other bands with friends in, in the Aussie scene, all sitting back and just going, oh, this song's fucking shit. Oh, this one's great. Oh, this song's fucking shit. Oh, this song's great. It's just on all night, any time of the night, and it plays, the, it's got the best diversity of film clips. It's the first uh, video program to ever play our songs. You come home and you go, I'm just going to watch one more video clip. Yeah. Oh, no, okay, I'm going to wait. Okay, this is a crap video clip, but the next one's probably going to be really good, and the next you know it's five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ivan Davies from Ice House. Happy 20th birthday, Rage! Rage! <laughs> that was sort of what, what we aimed at when we wrote the lyrics to Young Folks, that um, other boy-girl thing. Yeah. Uh, sort of getting that, yeah. That quality to, of, of a lyric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conversational quality, so um, to speak, which is a bit hard, actually, because we usually don't do that so often. We more or less talk out of the heart in yeah. another way. We try so to be smart this time and, and write stuff like a like a real like a writer or you know, <laughs> yeah. like a playwright. Yeah. And uh, some days I even think we succeeded, but um, some days. G'day, it's Dave, it's Ed, it's Dono from Morgan March. Saying a happy 20th birthday, Rage. We've been asked to say that. We've, we're not playing this though. My first one. But you threw it. And um, we want to wish a very happy 20th birthday to Rage. I can't believe that Rage is so young. I thought that people, to me, Rage is like an old, an old man. It's, yeah, it's a lot of great stories to tell. The first time I ever heard about Australia in any kind of context that was beyond sort of, say, a geographical context was because of ACDC. So yes, the, uh, the, the boys brought to the consciousness of the youth of America the concept that, yes, there's this country called Australia, and why are these weird little men making this strange sound? This is ACDC doing A Long Way to the Top. Uh, I did this song with, uh, with John Farnham uh, a while back. And uh, I think it's a great song, great rock and roll song. And uh, the drummer that, uh, that is now with ACDC used to be my drummer. His name is Chris Slade. Um, I don't think he's on in this video, but uh, he's certainly with ACDC now. And uh, I, you know, I think it, it, it's a great band, great music, hard rock and roll. People in America are more familiar with, with uh, uh, Brian, the, the lead singer that came after Bond, because that's when the ACDC had the greatest success in America. But I was exposed to ACDC uh, during the Bond Scott years. And uh, I think Bond Scott's one of the great lead singers of all time. And, and his sense of humor and his great singing voice always comes through, no matter how many times you hear these songs. People probably don't realize what an integral part in Australia's rock and roll history the Siebel Townhouse in the King's Cross area played. Yes, it's and it's currently being demolished. And rumor has it. But the, it's, the demolition job has gone too in an unprecedented move for a tendering process. ACDC are actually demolishing the Siebel Townhouse. And what Akadaka song have you chosen, Bob? It's a long way to the top. If you want to rock and roll, don't we know it? I do. Okay, so this next song is from one MySpacer to another set of MySpacers. It's the Arctic Monkeys with I Bet You Look Good on the Dance Floor. Not quite as good as me though, I'm sure. <laughs> the Beatles, Rolling Stones, Bob Dylan, the Beach Boys, rock royalty. And no one is more royal than Spinal Tap the band that actually was bigger than the Beatles. I only speak of them in this kind of reference because I can't make jokes about the greatest band of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, Spinal Tap. This next band owes their entire act to us, to Nature's Day. Even though they came out before us, they heard about us and stole it in advance. No, I, I have to say, they're the forefathers of comedy rock, and I think they're the only other actors that have ever put out a fucking great album. Hmm, wait a minute, wait a minute. Besides Bacon Brothers. The, 
Dude, have you heard their latest album? <laughs> More bacon How for the shaking? How about 30-odd foot of grunt? Uh, is that, is that good? You know, Russ, I haven't heard it. I just have a feeling it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> just have a funny feeling. <laughs> Russell's famous for having uh, slamming lots of young starlets. Is that true? Hollywood. That yeah. might be a, just a rumor. Don't go spreading rumors. You don't Dude, know that's no, true. No, I've heard it. I've actually heard it. You're one to talk. Check it out. Spinal Tap. Majesty of Rock. The pageantry of roll. Rage. Hello, my name's Amanda Brown and I play in the go-betweens and I'm going to be programming some songs for Rage tonight. <laughs> and you're not going to be awake for work tomorrow. Uh, and let's do it again soon. Good night. Happy birthday, dear Rage. Happy birthday to you, number 28.